up, what up, that's number his squad, and welcome back, guys. Here's your boy, Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys, have you having a rough day? Let's turn around right now with some good energy and some good content, all right? All right. So, my lovely wife, who we have today, babe. Okay, babe, today we'll be reacting to Paul Harvey, Letter from God. Uh oh. All right. You guys dropped this off on us. Okay. We picked it up. Now, this guy is so intelligent. I love to hear him talk. Well, we love him talk. Yeah. And everything that he's saying really makes sense. Most definitely. This is our second video that we're reacting to. So before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys be notified. Babe, are you ready to get into I'm it? I'm so ready. You might you might get chills. You know how Paul, Mr. Paul Harvey, he brings us chills. I'm ready. All right, you ready? All right, here we go. I, that if I were the devil one, I still have chills. I still have chills. Okay. I'm ready, my Good energy, life. good content. Right. Oh, to you. Woo. Get to it. Paul Harvey in the building. Uh-oh. Rest in peace. All right, yeah. Continue to rest in peace, Mr. Paul Harvey. Here we go. From now on, I'm quoting an open letter from God. My dear children... And believe me, that is all of you. I consider myself a pretty patient guy. I mean, look at the Grand Canyon. It took millions of years to get it right. And about evolution, boy, nothing is slower than designing that whole Darwinian thing to take place, cell by cell and gene by gene. And I have been patient through your fashions, your civilizations, wars and schemes, and the countless ways that you take me for granted until you get yourselves into big trouble again and again. I want to let you know about some of the things that started ticking me off. First of all, your religious rivalries are driving me up a wall. Woo. Enough already. Let's get one thing straight. These are your religions, not mine. Wow. I'm the whole enchilada. I'm beyond them all. Every one of your religions claims that there's only one of me, which, by the way, is absolutely true. But in the very next breath, each religion claims that it's my favorite one. And each claims its Bible was written personally by me and that all of the other Bibles are man-made. Oh, me. Oh, wow. He's right there. Paul oh, Harvey. <laughs> He's spot on. You are really blowing my mind right now. Because all these different religions leads to one God. It's only one. It's only there one. It's only one. I love this guy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and God did not create religion. Yes. Man did. He said you're driving me up the wall. I'm so tired oh of this. Oh my gosh. God forgive us. Wow. Here we go, guys. I don't want to keep stopping it, but that was so strong that he just said that. How do I ever begin to put a stop to such complicated nonsense? All right. Listen up now. I am your father and mother. And I don't play favorites among my children. Also, I hate to break it to you, but I don't write. My long hand is awful, and I've always been more of a doer anyway. So all of your books, including those Bibles, were written by men and women. They were inspired men and women. They were remarkable people, but they also made mistakes here and there. And I made sure of that so that you would never trust a written word rather than your own living heart. Wow! You see, one human being to me, even a bum on the street, is worth more than all of the holy books in the world. That's just the kind of a guy I am. My spirit is not an historical thing. It's alive right now, right now. Thank as fresh you. as your next breath. Thank you. Holy books and religious rites are sacred and powerful, but they are not more so than the least of you. They were only meant to steer you in the right direction, not to keep you arguing with each other, and certainly not to keep you from trusting your own personal connection with me. Mm. Which brings me to my next point about your nonsense. You act like I need you and your religions to stick up for me or win souls. For my sake, please don't do me any favors. I can stand quite well on my own, thank you. I don't need you to defend me. I don't need constant credit. I just want you to be good to each other. Thank you. Yes! And another thing, I don't get all worked up over money or politics. So stop dragging my name into your dramas. For example... I swear to me that I never threatened Oral Roberts. I, I never rode in any of Rajneesh's Rolls Royces. And I never told Woo! Pat Robertson to run for president. And I have never, ever had a conversation with Jim Baker. 
or Jerry Falwell or Jimmy Swigert. Of course, come Judgment Day, I certainly intend to. Now, the thing is, I want you to stop thinking of religion as some sort of a loyalty pledge to me. The true purpose of your religions is so that you can become more aware of me, not the other way around. Believe me, I know you already. I know what's in each of your hearts. And I love you anyway, with no strings attached. So lighten up and enjoy me. That's what religion's best for. What you seem to forget is how mysterious I am. You look at the petty differences in your scriptures and you say, Well, if this is the truth, then that can't be. But instead of trying to figure out my paradoxes and unfathomable nature, which, by the way, you never will, why not open your hearts to the simple common threads of every religion? You know what I'm talking about. Play nice with each other. Love and respect everyone. Be kind. Even when life is scary or confusing, take courage and be of good cheer, for I'm always with you. And learn how to be quiet so that you can hear my still, small voice. I don't like to shout. Amen. Leave the world a better place by living your life with dignity and gracefulness. Yes. For you are my own child. Hold back nothing from life. For the parts of you that can die surely will, and the parts that can't won't. So don't worry. Be happy. I stole that last line from Bobby McFerrin. Don't worry. (laughs) Who gave it to him in the first place? Wow! Simple stuff now. Why do you keep making it so complicated? It's like you're always looking for an excuse to be upset. And I am very tired of your main excuse. Do you think I care whether you call me God or Yahweh or Jehovah, Allah, Wakatonka, Brahma, Father, Mother, even the Void of Nirvana? Do you think I care which of my special children you feel closest to? Jesus, Mary, Buddha, Krishna, Muhammad, or any of the others? You can call me and my special ones any name you choose if only you will go about my business of loving one another as I love you. How can you keep neglecting something so simple? No, I am not telling you to abandon your religions. Enjoy your religions. Honor them. Learn from them just as you should enjoy, honor, and learn from your parents. But do you walk around telling everyone that your parents are better than theirs? Your religion, like your parents, may always have the most special place in your heart. I don't mind that at all. And I don't want you to combine all of the great traditions into one big mess. Each religion is unique for a reason. Each has a unique style so that people can find the best path for themselves. But my special children the ones that your religions revolve around, all live in the same place in my heart. And they get along perfectly, I assure you. The clergy must stop creating a myth of sibling rivalry where there is none. Wow. My blessed children of Earth, the world has grown too small for your pervasive religious bigotries and confusion. The whole planet is now connected by air travel, satellite dishes, telephones, fax machines, rock concerts, diseases, and mutual needs and concerns. Get with the program. If you really want to help me celebrate the birthday of my son Jesus, then commit yourselves to figuring out how to feed your hungry and clothe your naked and protect your abused and shelter your poor. And just as important, make your own everyday life a shining example of kindness and good humor. I've given you all of the resources you need if only you abandon your fear of each other and begin living and loving and laughing together. Finally, my children everywhere, remember whose birthday you honor on what you call Christmas Day, December 25, and the fearlessness with which he chose to live and die. As I love him, so do I love each of you. Now, I am not really ticked off. Not really. I just wanted to grab your attention because I hate to see you suffer. Yes. But I gave you free will. Thank you. So what can I do now other than try to influence you through reason, persuasion, and a little old-fashioned guilt and manipulation? Absolutely. After all, you know, I am the original Jewish mother. I just want you to be happy. And I'll sit in the dark. I really am. Indeed, I swear, 
with you always, always. Trust in me, your one and only God. End quote. Paul Harvey. Good day. Whoa. I needed to hear that. Oh, that was so comforting. I needed oh, to I hear that. Oh, I feel like that. we were just receiving a big hug from God. I feel so relaxed and wow. so loved. All you have to do is love. Love. One another. That is it. That's it. And he say. It's so simple. All of you are my children. So that makes us brothers and sisters. God loves us all. Under one God. God is our creator. He is every, God is everything. And he's a jealous God. Wow, man. Why can't we understand it as he people? He said, feed his, feed his homeless. Yes. Clothe the naked. Protect the abused. Wow. Love one another. I'm sorry, but. His voice. We never heard God, you know, actually, but it's almost similar to the what voice. Your that, imagination yeah, that, of what okay. it would sound like, right? I think God uh, sounds something <laughs> like this because his voice is so powerful <laughs> and his whole demeanor and the way that he, you know, speaks. Yes. Um, with love. With love. And authority. And it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. All these different religions. You know, leads to one God. You might take a different road or a different route, but it you're going to leads to one thing. one God. We yeah, all go the same way. People are like using God for their own reason, personal reasons. They're using their religion to yes. beat people down, to make people run away from God, and it's only one God. And they I have, want after each other's religions. I have like nothing against the Bible, but. He just said that that was man made. He's he not even a writer. He said he not even. <laughs> and he said, I'm all, a viewer. And this is what we all know. Anybody. It makes sense. <laughs> with any common sense. <laughs> it makes knows perfect sense. that God Himself did not write the Bible. It was written by man. By man. And He said He. Wow. We all. Every man makes mistakes. He did that on purpose so that we can. Come back to the source exactly. and understand exactly. that it's all God. Exactly. exactly. He just wants our attention. You know, he wants and our no attention. child. And I love how he said, "No child is over the other." Right. It's like he said, "The bum on the street," and he said something about the, you know, I guess the guy that's you know doing well. It's no difference. It's no difference. He loves us all. God loves us all. And what you call that? Agape love? Is it? Is that what you call Agape. it? Agape. Agape. I'm sorry. Yeah. Agape love. It's nothing like it. No matter what. He wow. loves us. God loves us. Woo! Mr. Harvey. We are big fans. And we are all special children. Hear beautiful. every message. So beautiful. That he had. Because he's just speaking with common sense. And everything that he's saying. It's basically true. Yes. You know, it's 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 no holes in the stories. It sounds like all facts. Yes. And um we can do our research. He said, I don't need you to defend me. I'm God. <laughs> I'm God. <laughs> <laughs> and I love a sense of humor. You know, but um he's he's and God does on. have a sense of humor. He does. I have learned that in he my does. life. Like he God does. has a sense of humor. And he loves us all. Yeah. <laughs> he loves us all. So we just need to, you know, get the message. And we're going to use this platform to spread the message to people spread who never love. heard about Paul Harvey. Yes. And spread love. Um, like right now, I'm holding myself because that truly made me feel the love of God. I feel the love of God all Amen. around me, surrounding me. Amen. God, please In continue me. to walk with us. Hold our hand. Yes. yes. Definitely. Yeah. That was powerful. Um, all right, guys, go ahead and smash that like button, get this video a big fat thumbs up, and also get inside the comment section. We need more, right? We need more. If you guys want to drop a link, 
um, drop off the title of the video. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. We need to hear more of Mr. Paul Harvey. Yes. And may he continue to rest in peace. Rest in peace. But these messages, man, I want to hear Such an amazing writer. Because I'm amazing. like, alone. Yes. I don't want to do nothing but listen to him like all day long. I so, know, right? Because it's so empowering. It's like, it's, yeah. it's knowledge that we need to know in the world that we live in right I'm now spreading today. this knowledge is yes, amazing. Absolutely. I'm so happy to be on. I feel so blessed to be on this platform so we can spread this. You yes. know. And Some I read, people um, have never heard of Paul Harvey. Yes, exactly. And I read comments on the last video that we did. You know, people used to just listen to him on the radio all day on their lunch break. Listen to him, turn him on. Yeah. And sit, eat their sandwich while they're listening to Paul. Harvey. Yes, I saw that in Man, the comments. A that. guy said he used yes. to go to work with his dad. With his dad. Yes. I read that. We read like, the same comments. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and it just stood out. I forgot his name. I forgot his name. Shout too. out to but you. But shout out to that guy. All right. We should have pinned a comment, but it's okay because we definitely on the same page. Yeah. All right. So, guys, that's our time. Let's go ahead and put that in the books. Man, that was special, guys. We definitely need more. We're going to, you know, dig into this rabbit hole and continue his message wow. on this platform at all costs. All right. Yes, we signing off, guys. Hey, it's your boy, Sean. And your girl. Love the pieces. Bam! I love you more. We, we love, love you, guys. you guys. Have an amazing day on purpose. S&M's Express love. love. Yes. Spread it wide, guys. My brothers and sisters. <laughs> we about it. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.